Oh no, this is bad. This is not fun. Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Random Man on the Internet that fixes things, talks about things that he sees on the internet. One of my favorite things about renovations are the surprises that people can hide in walls. Time capsules, skeletons, old newspapers, forgotten money, anything. You can hide anything in a wall. When we renovated our old 1960s camper, I think we signed inside of some walls and wrote some notes and maybe left a postcard or something. Now anytime I know somebody's got a wall open in their house, I always tell them to throw something in there. The newspaper, a photograph, something interesting. Eventually down the road, somebody will find something neat. Let's see what somebody put in this wall. So it's found inside the wall during a reno. Reno is short for renovation. When you renovate something, you like remove all the stuff and then you put new stuff inside. You kind of just keep the bones. Oh, exactly, no. the bones are the skeleton's money. In our world, bones equal dollars. You probably already know that though. So let's take a look at found inside the wall during a reno. <laughs> Oh no, this is bad. This is not fun. This is not a skeleton. This is not a newspaper. This is not a time capsule. This is a desk device. You remember early on when I said try everything and don't try electricity? I'm afraid of electricity. Everybody should be afraid of electricity. This is next level stupid. How did, who, what, how, like, no! like, I keep thinking it can't get stupider. I keep thinking, okay. The Silly Putty McNugget chair, the coffee wall, the can opener that takes you half a day to make out of junk. At least those aren't gonna kill you. Those are just gonna be either a waste of time or really stupid looking. This is going to kill someone. This is going to do damage. This is gonna catch fire. This is, this is scary. So <laughs> let's reverse engineer this. Let's learn something. So first off, you've got the box that the outlet lives in. That box, you can kind of see a little bit of it kind of hidden in the top left. That is supposed to be pretty darn near flush with the paper on the front of the drywall. It should be out to that paper. So then we've already set ourselves up for failure because even if you didn't have all this crap on the front side of it, you couldn't get a plate mounted on this outlet. The plate has a screw in in between the two outlets and then the plate would sit flush against your drywall. Here, you have no chance of that happening. You're never gonna be able to cover it. You're gonna have exposed wires. You're gonna have bugs coming in and out. Point A. Point B. What is the point of the styrofoam? My best guess would be insulation or soundproofing, sound deadening. You're never gonna really soundproof anything with anything like this. And then it looks like someone just poked it with their finger all the way around to like cut out that chunk that's missing. It just looks like somebody had no tools, no knowledge, nothing. They were like, I'm just gonna bring this out. So they put the styrofoam in and then they get an outlet and they're like, hmm, what do I do here? Let me just grab a couple of what appears to be old wire jumpers between the two. You can see in the bottom left of the back socket, there's a little bit of wire exposed. I think it's that, I'm hoping it's that. Still not good, but at first I thought it was just like nails going between them, like just straight rods, which then if you touched any of them, you'd be like, Vzz! and it would not be fun. So then they just shove it in the back, which in the back of the front outlet, they have quick connects. So where the wire jumpers are going, where we can't see the back of it, you put it in, it just quickly grabs it. It's not really a good way to do anything. You're supposed to wrap around the screws that we see on the right side of the outer outlet, bizarre to even say. So they just shove it in the quick connect and they're like, well, let me just shove it in this back outlet. And then it looks like, I can't tell if the front out, outer out, the, the outer outlet? Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Has like a plate that's like cracked and chunked and missing. And then there's like a screw that goes from the outer outlet to the back outlet. I don't quite understand how that screw's working or what's holding this whole death trap together. Don't do this. Don't. This is a bad idea. Oh goodness. Let's see what other Redditors have to say about this monstrosity. Electrical outlets and any other connections are supposed to be inside a box. Isn't that what I said? Those boxes must be made of a material that will not sustain a flame, either metal or PVC, which is self-extinguishing. I did not know that. So actually, 
this whole video, the only thing I've learned is PVC is self-extinguishing. However, I'll probably do some research and make sure because I don't like to blindly trust Redditors. My partner Brittany has told me Reddit is not a good source. Well, looky there. He was right. This thing effectively transfers the connections to a box made of expanded polystyrene, poly, polystyrene, 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 polystyrene. Let's see, polystyrene. What am I? Where do you go to hear words? Uh, is it a dictionary? Dictionary. There we go. Polystyrene. Polystyrene. I pronounced it right. Polystyrene. 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 Box made of expanded polystyrene, which is very flammable and produces large amounts of very toxic smoke. Ooh, that would go well with the coffee stained wall lady. Just put smoke on top of it. On top of that, they aren't secure connections and probably arc a little bit every time you wiggle that outlet when something is plugged in and turned on. This might well be one of the most dangerous DIY hacks I've ever seen. This took more work to do wrong then do correctly. Leave with anything today, it is don't do anything you see on the internet and PVC is self-extinguishing. So there it is. All right, bye.